uh, called America have been misled uh, astray down the, the wrong path away from what is called in Islam Surat al-Mustaqim. That's the straight path leading straight to Almighty God. Uh, Malcolm was a victim of the same uh, uh, mentality. And uh, this is what happens in a society such as America when people are denied truth, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Mm -hmm. If we would go back to the teachings of our ancient, uh, our great ancient Egyptian ancestors, one of the things that they constantly placed over the, the doors and the temples of, of, of the ancient Egyptians was the saying, man, know thyself. Yes. So Malcolm being uh, an uh, individual who did not know himself at the time, uh, uh, did not have self-knowledge, proper spiritual knowledge, proper cultural knowledge, had, did not know his true name, his history, his cultural identity, et cetera, et cetera. It was just inevitable that he would go down the same corrupt path that we see many of our black youth in America going down today. What, what, you know, what, what, doing the gravitational pull towards the nation of Islam, what drew him to Islam? What was it? that was so magnificent about Islam that drew him now? Well, it, it's the beauty of Islamic teaching. Number one, let me just uh, point this out. Malcolm was sincere in everything that, that he did. Even when he was out there living a corrupt life, he was sincere in what he was doing. And, 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 and so consequently, uh, when he came over to the real truth, he became even more sincere and dedicated in that. And that accounts for the fact of, 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 of why, for example, when he became a member of the Nation of Islam, for yeah. example, he did not touch a woman for 12 solid years wow. before he found the, the right companion. And this is how dedicated the, this brother was. But Islam simply made him more dedicated and sincere than he ever had been. Okay. Now, there's some transformations that transpired with Malcolm X. Right. And I have the utmost of respect. Actually, that's one of my heroes. Right. <laughs> and I'm not shirking by saying that. Right. <laughs> but what made him leave the nation of Islam when he discovered something else? And I say that out of all due respect because I love the nation of Islam. Yes. What made him leave? Why? I think he was dismissed, but well, let, let's, uh, we must uh, uh, put everything in the proper perspective, uh, and, 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 and that is we must give credit where credit is due. Again, the Nation of Islam was a magnificent organization for the transformation of black people in those days, and still uh, they do a wonderful job yes, sir. in transforming the lives of young people from a life of, of, of corruption. But what happened back in that day and time was that we had uh, some enemies you know, to come in among the ranks of Muslims who uh, wanted to drive a wedge between uh, Malcolm and his mentor. Okay. And they were somewhat successful in doing that. There were some that would whisper, go to Malcolm and whisper negative things, and there were some that would go to his mentor. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad had yes. mentioned negative things uh, in uh, behalf of, I say again, our our enemies, yes. uh, uh, some representatives of the uh, intelligence forces, namely United States government, FBI, and CIA. And I and call they, them the United Snakes myself. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and so they were instrumental in driving a wedge yes, sir. Uh, between uh, both of those great men. However, my position uh, in this day and time is that, you know, that was something that occurred uh, 30 or 40 years ago, and we who want to move forward, Today, we sh must not dwell on the, on the past mistakes of our, our great leaders. We must concentrate on the good of all of our great leaders, regardless of the differences that they had amongst them, them themselves. Dr. Martin Luther King, for example, had one methodology, and Malcolm and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had another methodology. Well, what we must learn to do as a people trying to move forward today in 2007 is take the best from what all of our great leaders had and move forward with it and forget about the differences and the labels that, that we, we allow to divide us because if we don't, we become no different from uh, the gangbangers out on the street corner, the Crips and the Bloods or the Blackstone Rangers and the Disciples. We want to look down upon them and condemn them, but those of us in uh, so-called more cultured or refined organizations, 
when we can't work together, we are guilty of the same type of division. You talk about these enemies, they are enemies of Islam. And you know what their unclassified papers that Hoover, you know, sent people in to infiltrate organizations that seek to uplift yes. black people or indigenous people. Why? Why would they try to destroy like well, this? Uh, I'm talking about something righteous. Well, uh, what you said harkens back to the uh, uh, infamous uh, uh, Intel Pro files, which was uh, a directive of uh, J. Edgar Hoover to infiltrate and destroy all uh, black nationalists or militant organizations at that time. And uh, what they stated in that document was that they had to uh, destroy the militant or black nationalist aspect of any organizations at that time because that might be the beginning of a, what they termed a true black revolution. Yeah. And they specifically mentioned that Brother Malcolm X might have been the individual to spark such a re revolution. And so what, uh, uh, what happened was that we had a situation where the powers that be, you know, feared that uh, uh, he would uh, be instrumental in bringing that about. Okay. Now, Martin Luther King, I was told, of course, he met with Malcolm X. Yes. And he met, also met with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This is true. Okay, I was told that before this, when this transpired, he was going to convert over to Islam or that his ideology was starting to change, and that's probably why they snuffed him out or killed him. Is this, can you expand on this? Well, let, me, let me just say this. I, have, I am not privy to any information as to Dr. King uh, leaning toward converting to Islam. However, I will say this. There is information uh, that uh, one can research to uh, uh, show that Dr. King, after he met with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and Brother Malcolm X, that he was becoming more militant in his uh, stance uh, in, or view of, of the civil rights movement. Uh, they specifically mentioned in the COINTELPRO files that should Dr. King abandon uh, his nonviolent philosophy and embrace the philosophy of black nationalism, he would become more of a threat. And uh, it was some time after that, uh, after he became more militant, uh, that uh, uh, he was eliminated. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, a lot of that is, that is true. Okay. Well, you know what? When Malcolm X went, was expelled, uh, put out of the nation of Islam, he went to, I think, Saudi Arabia. Right. And he came to a different conclusion about Islam and embracing other ethnic backgrounds. What happened to bring about this transformation? Well, let me say this. Um, though Malcolm became more, uh, or uh, the term they use, orthodox, yes, sir. in his uh, representation and understanding of Islam, one of the things that we must understand as uh, people of African descent, uh, Muslim as well as non-Muslim, is that Malcolm never abandoned his commitment uh, to uplift black people. One of the things that he stated in uh, one of the publications that uh, has, has been out, uh, he said that he could never believe in any religion that wouldn't allow him to fight for his people. Okay. And let me just add this here. This is a, a problem that I have with many so-called mainstream Muslims today is that they accept Islam and they become so orientated toward uh, imitating their Pakistani Muslim br uh, brothers and their Arab Muslim brothers that they forget their own black identity. This is something that we should, we should not be guilty of. That's what I was going to, you know what I was, that was the next question that I was leading.